as you just heard from President Biden, it could become the deadliest hurricane in Florida's history. Local 10 News has you covered. Our team is fanned out across the state and as far north as Washington, D.C. We begin our team coverage with Janice Fernandez live in East Naples after she saw some of the hardest hit cities. Janice. And I want to explain to everyone tonight why we are here. We are at a racetrack gas station just off of Alligator Alley in East Naples, heading toward the Marco Island area. The reason why we're here, a few reasons, but the main one being that this is one of the only places where we are able to get a cell signal and get a live signal where we can report live on television for you. And that is because Fort Myers, Naples, Marco Island, all of these places are essentially dead zones barely able to make phone calls or even send text messages. Very quickly though, I do want to show you what's going on behind me. You see a lot of cars here. It is not because there is gas. They are hoping to get gas soon, but it is because this racetrack actually has power. One of the few places we've seen with power. But let me show you what we've seen today, starting in Marco Island. Even though the water has receded for the most part, there was big storm surge in that area. We did still see some standing water in some neighborhoods, and this is one example of that standing water there on Marco Island, but crews worked very hard to get debris off the roadway. So really Marco Island is just dealing with power outages at this time. But look at this other video that we saw. This was in North Fort Myers and we saw this mobile home that was destroyed. And that is why we talk so much about those evacuation orders. They were so important because in cases like this, some homes just ceased to exist because of how powerful Hurricane Ian was. And let's talk about the storm surge that we saw very evident in Fort Myers, showing you video of a boat. This was on a canal that uh, extends to the river and then to the Gulf, but this canal definitely got that storm surge. This boat ending up on its side, almost crashing into a home. And then, of course, the power lines. We saw one that was snapped almost out on the roadway, but as we were driving around, we saw power lines scattered everywhere, down power lines, and in fact, Lee County is off the grid. The governor saying that it's going to take time before they can get power back up and running. And that is because it's not just as simple as it usually is where they can get to the power grid and get it back up and running. They're actually going to have to rebuild some of the infrastructure. That is just some examples of the damage left behind by Hurricane Ian. But the images we are getting from all across the west coast of Florida, it's almost unimaginable what happened. And again, we are here simply because this is one of the only spots we are able to get a live signal and even so much as just make a phone call. So we really want to stress to everybody at home who may have friends or family in this area. You may be trying to contact them. Understand that it is very hard right now to get any signals. The Internet is essentially unavailable. Like I said, it is a dead zone. And looking at those videos, the images we're seeing, it is really devastating. It's hard to use another word, Janice. It looks like there are quite a few people that are making their way over to where you are. The only place with power, you mentioned the gas station. Have you had a chance to speak to the people that have arrived there? What is it that they're trying to do? Look for, call family, uh, get back to their home, see the damage. What have you heard from people who are trying to make their way over to that gas station? Nicole, all of the above. You've got whole different type of reasons why people are here. So you're going to notice that the cars are by the gas pumps. There's there's gas. The problem is they're trying to get it online so that they can actually get gas into the vehicles. But people are kind of just standing by hoping they get the OK from the people inside the racetrack that there is gas and they could fill up their tanks. Now I said inside there is power and Believe it or not, there's hot food, and that is something that people are looking for as well. Not just, of course, water. There's hot food inside, so people are buying that. They're getting water. Uh, some, some of the people we spoke to, I actually spoke with a couple who said they got lucky and didn't lose power, but, of course, they are very much off the grid as well, as many people are here in the west coast of Florida. So, so many different reasons. And important to note, Nicole, because you mentioned, are people trying to get back in to these areas? And the answer is yes. We definitely saw more traffic trying to get into Fort Myers Beach, trying to get into Marco Island and Naples than we did of people trying to get out. No doubt people trying to get in to see how their homes fared in the storm. Yeah, a modern day oasis in a sea of destruction. You stay safe out there, Janice. Excellent reporting as usual.